Greetings, and welcome to another mod type series, this time of the Liquid Crystal ROM hack, the Fire Red version. So, this is going to be a bit of a different one. We're not going to be doing a mod type of a type that's actually available. This is going to be a mod type of a type that would exist in later generations, specifically the Fairy type. Now, how are we going to do this, you may ask? It's quite simple. We're going to use Pokemon that gain the Fairy type as a Generation 6. And Liquid Crystal is, well, it was actually never finished, but it's still one of the more interesting ROM hacks out there. In terms of the sheer amount of content there is, it's hard to beat this one. Now, we're actually going to skip the intro to this a little bit because, well, we're actually not going to hack in my starter. We're going to catch one because we could get one before the first gym. So, anyways, I will skip on ahead. Okay, so this is a uh, save state that I created a while back, just to skip the intro, because the start to this is actually a little slow. And, uh, so, I started off with a, uh, Totodile. This is just gonna be an HM Slave later. It has some levels on it, but, again, this is not really for battling. And we got a bunch of Fampy as pickup slaves. But... The only trainers we've actually battled so far is, uh, well, the rival the first time around. So, uh, we're gonna have to run around here until we find a Ralts. That's gonna be our first, uh, well, start. Yep, I meant to run away, but whatever, so I'll skip ahead until we find So here's gonna be our starter, Ralts. And, uh, you wonder how I got all these Pokeballs? The answer is picking up items that I got well, just pick up, and then just selling stuff that I would get from it. Mostly hidden power TMs, shit like that, because, well, they suck. Um, now, you may wonder, well, what I mean by suck? Well, the answer is that... In this hack, I think hidden power is bugged. Yes, the type changes, but the power set to, like, 1, so it barely does any damage. So, what's the point? Anyways, we caught a Ralts. We're gonna name you... We're gonna name you Morgan. I don't know if this is gonna be a theme. Might go with an Arthurian theme. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna go back and get this thing out of the sea. Also, yeah, the weather changes from time to time. But anyways, I won't be able to use Ralts right away because it doesn't actually know any attacking moves. It just knows Growl at level 4. It doesn't learn attacking move till level 6. So, I am gonna have to use my starter for a bit longer. And... Actually, having it at level 15 is rather convenient, because it means it'll one-shot all the Pokémon that I send it against. I don't even really need Rain to boost Water Gun. Oh, uh... Let's say, isn't this where the... No, I don't think so. There's... There's someone you could talk to on Fridays that'll give you items. I don't think she's here, though. I think she's somewhere else. Is it Friday? Or... I need a check. I forgot. Anyways, I got nothing else to say, so I guess I'll just skip ahead until it levels up to level 6. Correction, it's Saturday. That would explain why it's not here. Moving on. And Morgan has now reached level 6, which means it's going to learn Confusion, and we can finally box... Well, Steve. But we're not going to go move on to Battle of the Trainers just yet, because, well... Hate to say this, but Ralts is one of the weakest psychic Pokemon in the game, and it just can't take any hits. So, the uh, opposing trainer, even the very first opposing trainers, are just going to be too tough for it. And uh, so I got to do a little bit more level grinding off screen, just with Ralts by itself this time. Oh, and on a side note, you may wonder why Liquid Crystal? Well, other than the fact that I mentioned that. There's a fuck ton of content here, seriously. It's not even finished, but there's a fuck ton there. And, uh... Well... Th you'll say, you're not missing much, even though I did skip the intro. And, uh... Well, the reason is... Well, you'll find out when I get to the last episode. There's something kinda cool about this. So, just so stay tuned for that. Other than that, uh, what was I about to say? Shit, can't remember. Um, 
Uh, I'll let you know when I remember. I remember why. Well, you might wonder why I didn't hack in my stars so I could just show you the intro. Well, the answer is because I can't. This hack so heavily modifies the base game that if I were to open up something like Pokehex to create a Ralts for me in that, it would actually corrupt the save file and render it unusable. So, yeah. I have to do it the old-fashioned way, or I would have to use a Pokemon modifier to catch what I want in the wild. If that makes sense. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so now it's up to level 10, and frankly, even this may not be enough. And I'll explain why when we get there. But first, let's go into here. So you talk to this guy, I've already talked to him before, but you get... Apricorns for him. Yeah, some, some of the berries in this are replaced with Apricorns. And you go in here and... Why'd he vanish? Well, you get a revival herb. Okay. Uh, yeah, something to keep in mind. This hack is janky as fuck. But anyways, uh, well... Yeah, there's some pretty cool remixes of the Gen 2 soundtrack in this hack. And it really does sound like something Game Freak would have made. Yes, I did teach Hidden Power. And I've already checked, its Hidden Power type is Fire, but it's very, very weak. Because, again, Hidden Power, I'm pretty sure, is bugged in this. Now, it may not se seem like... In fact, no, I'm going to show you real quick. That's super effective! I got a level 4 Caterpie, and that's all it did. Yeah, it's pathetic. It was gonna go back and heal because, well, Ralts is frail enough that I actually need to do that, so give me a bit. But on the way back, I level up one more time, just for good measure. Double team. That's gonna come in handy. Because that's the only way I can offset my frailty. Okay, so yeah. Very, very weak. And now I'm poisoned, so now I really gotta go back. Okay, so I move on. Fuck off. Now I'm going to go back and heal again, and you'll see why in a sec. Okay, so go up here. Oh, do you talk to this guy? Uh, well, on Mondays anyway, he'll give you an Ultra Ball. So, yeah, good stuff. But here I'm going to save, and you're going to see why in a second. It's entirely because of this motherfucker. Say hello to Zane, one of the OC rivals added in this hack. And somehow, he's an even bigger asshole than Silver is sometimes. I'm pretty sure this is like a self-insert of someone, or a parody, but this is why. Porygon. Because Porygon knows Conversion 2, which means if he uses it, it might turn into a Dark-type, which means it's immune to Confusion. If that happens. So I need to be sure I can knock this thing out. Fortunately, whenever it used it, it didn't turn into a dark type, which that's just pure luck. I've had like I have played this hack before with psychic a psychic monotype, and I got stonewalled by this asshole because it kept turning into a dark type. Anyways, moving on. And over here, you get a PowerPoint Max. Yeah, that's awfully generous for this early in the game. Uh, we are going... Okay. Potion. And now we're going to go into Dark Cave real quick, because there's actually something I want to show you guys before we're done with this episode. Uh, so... 
You just gotta feel along here. Thankfully, it's a lot easier to do that in Gen 2. Oh, Zubat. Gen 2, this is just hell to do without Flash. And it's because of this, a Moonstone. Now, a Moonstone, ordinarily, is like, okay, fair enough. You can use it to evolve something that... You know, like, need or something like that. But, oh, it get, it's much more interesting this early on. Because, you see, um... There's a way you can break the game very early on in your playthrough. And I'll explain why when we get when we encounter the right Pokemon. I won't actually be able to use it in this run because it's not a fairy type. Or it won't become a fairy type. So Alright, now. We're at, now, that guy's a fair bit tougher. We're not going to battle him just yet. I'm going to go over to the next city real quick. I forget, do you have anything? Nope. Oh, by the way, yeah, the phone and the radio on your Poke Gear do not work. Uh, the radio. Oh, oh, yeah, well, you have the expansion card, but the phone doesn't work. You can't make calls. You can take calls, though. And there's a Game Boy and there's a Game Boy player which changes it to the original Gen 2 sound as well. So first, we're gonna heal up, and now we're gonna save real quick. And I'll explain why in a sec. So now we're gonna go back and battle that other trainer. He's a fair bit tougher than all the other ones on this route. Yeah, they used to call them cool trainers. Yeah, that could have been close. Because he, again, significantly stronger than any other trainer in the route. Even Zane isn't that strong. He's just annoying. Now we'll go back and heal again. Now I want to show you what it was that was a game breaker. Let's go over here. So, on this route... You can find... We'll, we'll see how long it takes you to find it. Oh, we're in Bolton. Ghastly! Now, we're not going to catch it, but I want you to hear this. So, you can evolve Ghastly in a Haunter, right? Well, then you have to factor something else in. The way the trade evolutions are changed. Haunter evolves into Gengar with a Moonstone. So... You get a Moonstone Dark Cave, you can get a Gengar before fighting the first gym leader. Oh, but it gets worse. Because you see, as we're about to see here, we're going to unlock the ability to fight Unknown here in the Ruins of Alf. Unknown give special attack effort values. So that means not only can you get a Gengar, before fighting the first gym, you can have it fully... You can have it its special attack maxed out. Without even one gym. Without even one gym badge. This is partly offset by the fact that, well... You don't actually learn any moves that can directly hurt... Faulkner's Pokemon in, uh... Whoops. Prior to, uh... Well, without TMs. Be all you can use to damage is flying types or curse, because they're also normal types. But that's besides the point. You can get a Gengar before the first gym badge. But now that Unknown have appeared, we can use that to do some effort value training. 
for Rolfs, because I've already checked its stats, and its stats are pretty bad. It's gonna need all the help it can get. Just one more thing I want to show you, which is actually pretty damn funny. So, while I was fucking around with the no-clip back in the first playthrough of this I did, I discovered a rather amusing glitch. You run to this tree, repeatedly, and you get calciums. Over, and over, and over again. Yeah, that's, uh, pretty damn broken. You can farm money this way, you can get special attack up this way. I'm gonna throw all these out. I just thought this was really damn funny, that's why I wanted to show it to you guys. So, uh, yeah, give me a bit. Oh yeah, and here's the other OC rival. He just shows up when you walk in front of the gym. Because reasons. We'll meet him later. Jesus Christ, how horrifying! A fuck ton more of this later. Finally. Did a whole lot of effort value grinding with this. Just so I could say I accomplished something in the first episode. And we're going to start off really strong by evolving Ralts into Curlia. No way I don't power grind this much, but it'll come in handy later. It'll save me time. Anyways, I think that'll wrap it up this time, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.